Greetings and salutations, GeoNerds. T-Rox here. This week we'll look at geological time, explain the weird words and how it relates to Brisbane's geology. So come on, we'll dance through the minefield that is geological time together. And you know what I'm going to say. Let's rock. Hey GeoNerds, I know I said we'd do the North Pine Fault this week, but as I wrote the script, I realised it requires a basic understanding of geological time. So we'll have a little dance with the concept of geological time. Firstly, if you believe the Earth is the centre of the universe and is only 6,000 years old, and was created in six days by an omnipotent being in the sky, and we are all related to two Caucasians from Mesopotamia, this is not your video, or in fact, your channel. And as much as I don't want to tell you what to do, you probably should leave now. Right, now the creationists have gone, we can talk some science. Or sort of. There is quite a lot of belief, you know, faith in something you think is true, but there's no proof in all of this. But a lot of it has been filled in with science over the last hundred years or so. It all started with a famous Scottish geologist. No, not that one. James Hutton. They refer to Scotland as the home of geology, and not without good cause. 20 or so of the world's most influential geologists were all from Scotland. It might be because the place is a geologist's theme park, but everywhere is really once you get your geologizing eyes on. Or maybe they're just a group of very practical people who were used to sticking up for their culture and ideas. As they say, you can always tell a Scotsman, you just can't tell him much. Hutton proposed the landscape evolved over millions of years, not the few thousand years that was the dogma of the time. Charles Lyell, born the year Hutton died. Unlike Hutton, Lyell got to travel to Europe. From his observations, he wrote a series of books called The Principles of Geology, in three volumes, no less. These were used by Charles Darwin on his journeys in the Beagle to help him understand what he was seeing. On his return, Darwin and Lyle became besties, and Lyle came around to Darwin's evolution of species theory. Okay, enough of the recent past. Now let's get really old. It's now widely accepted that the universe is about 14.5 billion years old. But in order to communicate with millennials, this is now mainly referred to as Giga Years. So the universe is 14 and a half Giga Years old. So the Earth and the Solar System are 4.543 Giga Years old, give or take 50 million years or so. And yes, I refuse to use the term Mega Years. So here we go. Now we can get into the geology. The hierarchy of ages on Earth goes like this. Eons into eras, eras into periods, periods into epochs. I said epoch, you idiot. There have been four eons in geological time. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. The Hydean Eon. This eon goes from the very accretion of the Earth in space up to about four giga years ago. As the name infers, hot, melty, no liquid water, no life, and the rocks from this time were believed to be no longer in existence. But now that's wrong. Microscopic zircon crystals from the Jack Hills in Western Australia appear to be 4.39 giga years old. Yes, I know it looks like Mars, but it's not. It's Western Australia. These are the Jack Hills, where those zircon crystals were found. That appear to be over 4 billion years old. And they sort of look it. The Archaean Eon. This is from 4 giga years ago, until around 2.5 giga years ago. The word Archaean comes from the Greek 
Arche, meaning beginning or origin. And it was thought to be this until I discovered the Hadean. We now have fossils of stromatolites from South Australia, I might add, also God's country, and T Rock's second most favourite place on Earth from this eon. So life begins here. <laughs> T Rock's drop in here, just a word you'll hear a lot in geotime Zoic from the Greek and Latin for zoion, meaning pertaining to animals or animal activity. In this eon, the protero is from the Greek proto, meaning former or earlier. Back to the show. <laughs> the Protozoic Eon. The Protozoic is the longest eon at nearly two giga years long. It has some of the most significant events in Earth's history. The start of plate tectonics, the great oxygenization event, the de-ironing of the oceans forming the banded iron deposits all over the world, the first known glaciation events and snowball earth, and the evolution of eukaryotes. You know, us. The, the Phanerozoic Eon. Eon. This eon is from around 540 million years ago until today. The name Phanerozoic comes from the Greek Phaneros, meaning visible. This is where life really gets its gear on. And this eon runs right up until now. When will then be now? Soon. How soon? Okay, okay. Enough about eons for now. Super, Super eons. eons. These were needed as it became obvious that there was a definite change in life at a specific point. And therefore, fossils and rocks were changing as well. They have only defined one super eon as yet, but you'll hear about it all the time. The Precambrian. This goes from the beginning of the Earth's geology up until 540 million years ago. Basically, from the start until life went nuts. So inside eons, there are eras. For t rocks purposes, we can just look at the times that are represented in Brisbane's geology. All of the geology exposed in Brisbane today is Phanerozoic. See, you already know what this is. Inside the Phanerozoic Eon, there are three eras. Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Paleo comes from the Greek Paleos, meaning old. Meso comes from the Greek meso, meaning in between or between. Seno comes from the Greek senos, meaning recent or new. Now armed with your new knowledge, it's not really rocket surgery. Okay, my geo nerd friends, this is going way too long. Even T Rox is losing the will to live. I'll put up a second video with the conclusion of this week's exciting episode soon. Remember, T Rox accepts you all, as he knows as Geo Nerds, we all have our faults. Hey, hey thanks, thanks for watching. watching. If you yeah. like this stuff, and hey, you made it this far. Please help us to poke the algorithm and smash that like button like it's Space 1999. And if you want to see more, subscribe and share this with, say, a thousand of your closest friends. And let's see just how far that little algorithm can go before its CPU explodes. Copy you later.